Hi guys. Sorry it's so dark. This is uh, my next update. It's part seven. I'm showing you where I got this set up. This is my garage. I'm gonna go inside here. And don't mind the mess right here because this ain't what we're doing. <laughs> I'll try to turn the camera away from that. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but here we go. This right here is where it all happens. It's a shower curtain from the dollar store. Works pretty good. That big old stout door here too. Just slides into place. It's a sheetrock door. Well, it's insulated and everything, but what's going on here? Alright. Going in. Tonight is the night that we uh, give these babies their last food before the flush. I want to show you guys what I got going on here. 77.2, 53% humidity, perfect. Okay, I'm getting ready, I got my water bucket going on here. Holds about 18 gallons of water. It's about three gallons a piece, does them pretty good. Sometimes I'll give them a little more when I'm watering in between feedings just to get that color to run a little clearer. You always want to do that. Feed once a week, water once a week. Alright, here we go. Sativas. Tropical Elephant. Super Scrub. All CFL lights. 100% organic. Single patient medical grow. Built everything in here myself. Show you guys what we got going on here. Right here. These beauties. We'll go back here. These ones back against the mylar seem to really like that. Yes, sir. A two, two and a half weeks out. By my reckoning, by the way they look. Give them some food, four days from now, flush, flush, flush. And what I mean by flush is, okay, here's the indicas, water pH balanced, filtered, kind, clear water. This is my purple pine cone, you guys. I don't know if the light's good to see this beauty. There we go. These things are getting huge. And that looks like discoloration on the leaves, other right here. It's not. It's all frosty. Those are all flakes. They're white. They haven't started to turn amber at all. You can see them. Look at that. It's crazy. Anyway, so I'm back it out here so you guys can see the scrog on this baby. Oopsie. I don't know what keeps happening there, you guys. Keeps telling me photo for some reason. I keep taking pictures, I guess. Anyway, try and get in here so you can see what's going on. Shot of the whole deal here. That's the indicas. You can see how fat these things are getting. So 
some of them are just monsters back in there. Wish I could describe to you how that smells in here. But if you grow weed, you know. <laughs> Those definitely filled that net out, guys. And then some. All right, I did break down. Had to do it to get that humidity down. I don't know if I showed this in the last video, but there's a dehumidifier. Sent me back 200 bucks, but it needed to be done. The concrete in here sweats moisture. It's a pretty old building, so there's no vapor barrier. Just so you guys can see, this is my setup. I try to keep my room really clean. My black gloves. Gotta have your tunes. All the foods here, which I keep covered normally, but I'm getting ready to use it. Spray bottles. Gotta have some classical music in case there's a chick out here, or girl, or woman. Sorry, ladies. jar of weed, gotta have that. Anyway, this huge industrial fan that uh, my patient friend brought for us to use. This thing, man. I don't know, you could put it behind a boat and scoot across the lake or something with it. Anyway. I wanna show you what happens to CO2 bags when they go bad. Oops. That's a problem. There we go. I'm going to pull that one down tonight. It's pretty rotten. Bag's not full anymore. You can see in comparison. This one here, it's all nice and clean. And poofed up. It means it's full of CO2 and it's slowly emitting out that one way valve at the top there. Watch for that if you're using these things. They turn like that, get them out of your room. You don't want anything rotting in here. No fungus. None of that stuff. All right, now that I got the camera backed up, for some reason I was in close-up mode. Let's get a better shot of this. Come on, yeah, there we go. Please throw any questions or comments or jokes or anecdotes or whatever you got, man. Throw me your videos. Let me see what you're doing too. Love to see it. All right guys, I got a long night ahead of me. It takes me about two, three hours to feed, depending. And uh, I like to make sure that all the trays are uh, out of here. The ones that collect all the water so the humidity doesn't go up in the room. So I spend a lot of time out here. And I got to work in the morning, so like I said, hit me up, subscribe, show me pictures, videos, throw organic products at me. I'm always willing to try new stuff and learn new things. It's the way this works, you guys. We got to share it and make it happen for everybody because we all know how good this stuff is for people. All right, Sunday night, Father's Day, you guys enjoy, peace.